hi guys it's nicole and today i am back with layout number 11 from the creating with collection series this one is definitely going to be a quicker video i didn't speed the clips up as fast as i normally would but mostly i didn't film kind of my figure it out portion um i one, I forgot. <laughs> Two, I really wasn't sure how long it was going to take me to kind of figure out a game plan and I didn't want to have to deal with kind of editing that part out. So basically what I did was I found some photos from earlier this year and cropped them down to 2.5 inch square photos. Then I just kind of pushed them together and I printed out two strips just at home on, on my printer. Um, basically I was just kind of making my own photo strips in a sense. I was just kind of going super easy and to take a break from the white cardstock, I just kind of grabbed some pink from my stash and then I wasn't really, I don't know if I wasn't in the mood to deal with the papers or I wasn't getting like a quick idea of what I could do with the leftover papers. So for me, I'm just kind of letting the pink cardstock kind of be most of the paper. And then I took the striped strips and cut four quarter inch strips. And then I'm just going to trim them down a little bit and kind of make like a frame going around. And that's basically all the pattern paper that I've used. And then from there, I was more leaning towards some of the like spring icons from the collection. And if you guys know me, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but in the previous collection, the chairs were kind of my nemesis. And this one, it's the bikes. But I've said this before, if you put a bike in a collection, it's because I'm going to use it in a literal term, hence bike photos. And these were from, I want to say late March of this year, basically when we kind of found ourselves with beautiful weather and nowhere to go. We had been spending a lot of time out front. We spent a lot of time out front anyways, kind of hanging with our neighbors. And my daughter was just hauling up and down the street on her training wheels. And if you have kids and they've had training wheels, you kind of know that sound where you're just tired of hearing the sound of the training wheels. And so I kind of mentioned to my husband, like, you know, I almost want to take her training wheels off and just kind of let her go and see what happens. And so the four photos at the top were sort of that day where we well, actually, actually it's three photos, the ones where she's in her pajamas. <laughs> and my husband was kind of helping her balance the first day. Um, basically it took her about three sessions to kind of really get the hang of it. She is my kid that gets easily frustrated when she can't just sort of do something very quickly that she feels like she should be, but it only took her, you know, three, literally three times of going outside and she was getting better and better. The first time she was having a hard time sort of starting and then kind of going, we, I have a little bit of an incline on our street. So, you know, she'd go flying down the street and then she'd kind of have a little, little fussing, crying jag, trying to get her way back up. But now we throw her bike in the back of the car and we take it to the park twice a week and I walk laps and she rides laps and my son kind of does his own thing. So she's pretty much got it at this point. She still has like an occasional spill here and there, but again, off topic, but anytime I see like a bike in a collection, my brain just goes to, it needs to be bike photos because I guess I just don't think of like putting a bike in like park play photos or something like that. If there's not a bike in the photos, I don't know why I need the bike. And then the other thing that I'm noticing that's bothering me, and I don't know if, if Simple Stories is the only one that does this. I haven't had a chance to kind of go look at manufacturer images online but I really wish that they had done, like there's a bike in the die cuts and there's a bike on the sticker sheet, but they both face the same way. And for me, I would have, I would have liked it better if it had been like flipped. I think I would have ended up using the second one on this layout and kind of have them pointing towards each other. 
And I noticed the same thing with like the rain boots. They all face the same way, whether it's a die cut, a chipboard, or a sticker. And I'm like, man, I really wish that they would have just taken one or even two of these and kind of mirrored the image so that if you're using them all on one layout, they're not all facing the same way. So I'm wondering if other manufacturers do that too, but that is like a pet peeve right now for me. Um, everything else on the layout was, again, I just went back to those die cuts, the stickers, everything else that I kind of have left going on and just tried to pull spring related things and things that made sense to me. And then anytime that I question things, I tend to just take a picture, drop it in the group chat that I have with like my like scrapping crew basically. And I'll just be like, Hey, I'm not in the mood to make a decision. Somebody help me out here. Like what looks better? And I had been debating back and forth between like those flat teal stickers from Simple Stories or I had these like smaller pink thickers and I just kept kind of going back and forth and basically the vote ended up being where I was leaning towards with the flat stickers. And I tend to like that. I tend to like having where... If you have some alphabets that are popped up, then I want some to be flat. Or if some are dimensional like thickers, then I want some to be flat. And I don't want them all to be the same size or the same color. Occasionally, though, I have done where I want them all to be the same color using those Simple Stories alphabet sticker books. But I don't know. I think it's kind of whatever you're in the mood for. But because I wasn't using very many supplies, because I'm using these like photo strip type things this layout came together really quickly and it could also be the fact that it's a single page layout basically let's see this is 11 11 12 and 13 are all single pages i still have stuff left i haven't sort of sat down and like looked at everything yet to figure out, okay, what's my game plan for 14, possibly 15, possibly 16. I really do want to push myself to see, you know, how many layouts can I get out of this without just being like, I'm bored of it and I want to be done. I think I'm starting to get bored of it, but I know that there's enough materials left that I can definitely still get some decent layouts out of them. So I'm trying not to kind of just wimp out on myself. Um, but I am also trying to sort of make sure that I'm giving myself, I guess, time to do it too, because um, I'm going to be having some stuff going on next year that's going to kind of take up some of my time. You guys will find out later and you guys will be along for the ride and stuff. But definitely I'm kind of focused on this kit, especially through the end of the year, I really want to be able to finish it before January. I don't want to be working on this kit come January. I think I'm just going to kind of be over it by then. And this is kind of the, the phase where I'm starting to look at collections and I'm starting to think like, okay, if I do it again, which collection am I going to use? What game plan am I going to go with? So I'm kind of jumping around between like, I think it might be fun to do a Christmas one, but that means that I would be making Christmas layouts in, say, January through March of next year, and I'm wondering if people are just kind of like, ugh, Christmas is done, I want to move on, like, I don't think anybody's willing to say, like, 2021 is going to be amazing, I think everybody's just kind of like, don't talk about next year. But I'm over here trying to like get a game plan for things on my channel. Um, you know, what collection do I want to use for this series again? Because I do enjoy this series. I, I, it definitely is helping me streamline when I shop online, what types of things that I'm buying because I'm learning things that I just absolutely hate about collections. Um, I'm kind of going back to things that I used to do years ago with different layouts and stuff. I enjoy bouncing around between double page layouts and single page layouts and things like photo collages or full size four by six photos. Like I like bouncing around. I like being a mess. So with that, that is pretty much everything that I did. I did add um, the date to my layout. It just 
I did it after I took the photos. So I did remember to do that. And I will be back this week with layouts 12, 13, and a Wednesday video. So with that, thank you guys, and I'll catch you later.